And now. Blazing Pasta versus Beast. And now. That Vine Whip. So lethal. And Beast very quickly going to take the first stock off of Blazing Pasta within the first 30 seconds. And Beast, after such a ferocious five games, you'd have to think that it's going to be tough to. Uh, You'd have to think that it's going to be tough to uh, to figure out how to deal with such a, a ferocious opponent. Excuse me. And now all of a sudden, Blazing Pasta taking a stock of his own and only suffering 70 points, 17 points. Excuse me, worth of damage. Yeah, he uh, well read the landing. He came out beast. of there pretty clean. Beast doing a great job at reading his opponent's landings thus far. Blazing Pasta is going to have to adjust to not just a uh, beast in general, but a beast with all the confidence in the world mm. after last set, the winner of this one oh. going on to face 6WX. So Blazing Pasta does have motive. Mm. Revenge is a motivator, but Beast, he's playing for a lot more than that. He's playing to make a statement. Beast just blew up Pasta saying that is free as fuck. Because right now, oh my God, that Ivysaur down there on ledge. Now, I said that last matchup that, you know, you know, it, it wasn't that cheesy. But in this matchup, though, it's really free. It's really free for Ivysaur. So Pasta got to time his recoveries really well against his character, or else he's going to get blown up. And now, Blazing Pasta trying to catch him with the turnups is successful with one. Nice. Just so y'all didn't know at home, that down smash actually does catch below ledge on the last hit. So that's what kind of, that kind of nicked him out of there for a second. So he almost caught him with that. Grab. Looking for that flare blitz, missing it by the slimmest of margins. And now, oh, grabs the turn up. However, throwing off the stage, He's sitting at 198 percent. Beast maybe getting a little sloppy with these flare mm -hmm. blitzes and Blazing Pasta reading those landings perfectly. And here we are once again. I would say familiar, but it really isn't. Because right now we see Beast at a pretty big advantage against Blazing Pasta. And, you know, Pasta is a really good player traditionally. But Beast ended up taking it against them last time they, these two faced off. So I can – if this is really big – this would be really big for Beast if he takes game one. Like really big. That might do it. Oh, oh no. no. He, oh, he finds his way back up with mm. the Vine Whip. Now. Beast went for it all right there. He really did. Oh, he almost crapped out, though. That's what happens when oh. you roll the dice. Shield's looking low. Pasta's at ledge. This could be oh, it. Oh, up smash. He reads that just fine, and Blazing Pasta goes down to Beast, who has won four straight games now. Now Beast looking like he can take down just about anyone in this tournament. So here we are once again. Oh, my God. This is... Here we are, losers finals right now. Pasta versus Beast, and Pasta and Pasta just lost game one. Yeah, and that's uh, Blazing Pot. What, what are you seeing Beast do so well? I mean, obviously he has all the confidence in the world behind him, but what are you seeing him do so well in a technical sense? That's making I, him, uh, that's allowing him to be so good. In it's it's really hard to say. In previous sets, we saw him go for a lot of really good reads and a lot of good like good job lock combos that got early percent kills. So in this, but so far we see him take the Ivy Sword and just zone out Peach, not letting Peach have her room. Because when you let Peach have her room, all of a sudden you're getting comboed from zero to seventy, and it's not pretty. Not pretty at all for you, at least. So he's. Really just playing the most oppressive game that he possibly can, not mm -hmm. giving Peach any room to breathe. Oh, in. yeah. Uh-oh. This could be something big. All it's right. Showing Pasta at least in the squirrel situation. Oof. He thought he'd get a meteor punish out of that with a back air, but 
Not quite, but he's gonna get punished right now. And here we are. Boss is at still relatively low percent, and Beast is racking up percent really quickly though. So here we are. Once again, Boss is actually ledge trapping. So this is really scary. Honestly, I'd say this is probably one of the scariest like spots to have Pasta in against you. Oh, up smash! Holy smokes! All of a sudden, Blazing Pasta, he might have something to say about this uh, newfound confidence in Beast. Oh. You know, in Smash 4, we used to call that the Pasta Special. When he does raw up smash that ledge. Mm. So, he brought he brought the Pasta Special back in this game, too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The never-ending Pasta blow-up. Oh my god. I honestly I feel like I feel like Beast has been Oh my god, once oh again. Oh my goodness, all of flying. a sudden Stocks dropping right and left. Was that a zero to death? Uh probably. I, I and I, I say probably I, I say probably pretty loosely, but yeah, probably zero to death. Now all of a sudden trying to bait out some movement and uh trying to get Blazing Pasta to press buttons and indeed mm -hmm. he does eventually Oh, I feel like we're not okay. I was about to say, Pasta I was going maybe to, getting a little impatient here. I was gonna say we weren't seeing as many character swaps coming for Pokemon Trainer, like so far in this game. But you know, but there we go. BC back to the Ivy Store, back to his bread and butter, trying to get Peach at ledge. And here we are, last one stock to three. It's not looking good if you're Beast right now. Down air, Ooh, catch him at ledge. Oh, uh -oh that down air, yeah, that, that thing spikes, and it spikes hard. And Pasta was ready to catch his roll after those two jabs at ledge, but instead, Beast just went for the YOLO down, down air. So, that was that was pretty clutch. And the back air mm. blazing Pasta, that is three a stock. three, count it, three. Yeah, one more time, a three stock victory for blazing Pasta. Three stocked. Oh, that is the word of the day as we might be seeing more and more often as we watch Pasta sets. And there is something to be said about that. Ooh. Blazing Pasta taking a game. So we're at one game apiece yep. from these two players. They've been trading off momentum. And mm -hmm. frankly, it's hard, to, it's hard to glean as to who really has the advantage here. You have to give it to Blazing Pasta just in general. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, at the same time, Beast, I mean, looking like he could uh, he could beat anyone. He took four straight games in the in the last couple of minutes. Beast is not to be slept on. Like, Poss is a really great player in his own right, but we've seen Beast like take it super close against other top players that are just as good as Pasta. So, you know, to have an and he, he beat Pasta last week too, or two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. So, you know. For him to do it again, I would not be surprised. It was at that tournament that he wound up taking fifth place out of 109 people. Mm, one of our, our biggest lab event yet. Exactly, and of those, Pasta, uh, excuse me, Beast, barely missing out on loses semifinals. And in that tournament, did not make uh, the stream once, which is odd. Oof. I know, An right? anomaly, yeah. That, that's, that's pretty unusual. And here we are. Oh, my God. So, Mutual already, gets him already off stage. at ledge, yeah. I mean, oh, we're oh my gosh, tags him mm. with the turn up, blazing pasta, cheeky stuff. Yeah, that was the a, potential number one in Philadelphia. That was a great turn up, and also that was a that was a good that was a good swapping. To uh, it was good that they swapped to Zard at the very end because now he's starting out with Squirtle, which is probably a better pick than if you were to go with Zard straight out of the bat. Also. But it didn't really matter too much because what he really wanted was the Ivysaur counter pick right here. Because Ivysaur has been his best matchup so far against the Peach. Well, the thing is, I say the potential number one, but another man who has that argument to make, 6WX, is awaiting these two in grand finals. So obviously the debate could rage on in the Philadelphia PR community mm. or amongst the, uh, amongst the council. However, there could be one way to settle it, and that's at the grand finals of this here monthly. We'll have to decide the opponent, however. Blazing Pasta making a case, making a statement. He's sitting at 130 with all three of his stocks. Oh, yo, and that upbeat almost oh caught Pasta. Wait a and second. Zero to 70, 67. Pasta has not been touched except for that one, which was all that Beast needed. Welcome to the commentator's curse, my friend. That, is in, that happened to me far too many times. Uh. 
in the back air. That's Once crazy. again, the crown comes out. Mm -hmm. Blazing Pasta looking for a crown of his own. Gets All caught right. with the up B. Blazing Pasta maybe getting a little too ambitious. Yeah, Pasta was a little, uh, just a little bit too slow with uh, with the forward air after, after he got off on ledge. But you know what? He's still making it work. He's got tons of control right now. He's being ledge trapped. This could be it. Oh, spot dodges, however, back to neutral. Beast, however, getting closed down upon, and the mm. side B is going to take it. And it's a 2-1 advantage for Blazing Pasta. That should not have worked. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Did you see that spot dodge? I feel like that he. I feel like B spot dodged that at the right time, but it still ended up just cashing him on the last couple of frames. And now, Blazing Pasta with the two to one advantage over Beyond Beast Mode's very own Beast, the uh, the Allentown stalwart, and indeed number four on the Philadelphia PR has his back up against the wall in the face of Blazing Pasta. He's in deep deliberation, and he's looking at what stages have been struck. What are you expecting from Beast here? Oh, man. Well, Beast had a really strong start in the very beginning of the set, but right now he's looking at 2-1 to one in the set score, so I'm sure he's trying to find an answer. Um, going back, to, going to FD in this situation for Beast, this, mm, I, I don't know how I, I feel questions. about this. I have, I have a lot of questions about this one. I feel like he's going to have trouble landing. I feel like he's going to have trouble, like, maintaining control on stage against Pasta. But, you know, maybe he doesn't, he knows something that I don't. Will this be the final destination for Beast Tournament hopes? Blazing Pasta looking to ensure that. However, Beast, well, he's not one to take things sitting down, as has been evidenced here today. Oh, yeah. But it looks like Pasta's almost got him on download because... Ooh, as I say that, come here, Scurs. And here we are back again on the high landing. That was a good mix up. Ledge. Yeah. That, that was a good mix of imposter right there because if you got spiked at this early percent, that's going to be a huge momentum swing. Vine whips coming out. Mm -hmm. Short Vine, hops. Vine whips are going to put on some pressure, but they're not going to stop Pasta from making it back to stage. Oh, oh wow, well, he got tagged. Blazing Pasta oh. on fire. The Swedish sniper of Smash Ultimate. Blazing Pasta takes yet another stock with those off with that off stage. Mm. And Beast is going deep for a back air right now. He really just wants to close out a stock. He knows once Pasta builds a lead, here we go. Oh, misses. Oh. The switch out comes just in time, and that Squirtle. Into the Ivy Sword. No, he is not uh, not too confident in that Squirtle play. Mm -hmm. That or just not finding the right situation you, you for You know it. that if uh, if Beast didn't uh, switch out at that right there, he would have taken at least 40 more percent than he should have. So good on him. No, agreed 100 percent. That would have been uh, that would have been combo fodder for certain for mm -hmm. Blazing Pasta, who lives and dies off of that stuff. He does have the stock mm -hmm. advantage until just there, the dunk coming oh. out. God. I mean, that was Vince Carter-esque coming out from Beast. Oh my. Did you see how low that, <laughs> that caught him? Mm. Like, that catch is below Sage. So strong. That downer covers so much room for Ivysaur. It's insane. Yeah, and All now right. this is tournament stock. All Blazing right. Pasta. Are we going to see a JV? Nah, for either it. player right now. Because they're both at zero. Well, they were at least. Until... Po until Beast is coming up. Zero, 40, 61%. He's still going. He is still going after this. These players started at zero. What happened? Yeah, no, this is Blazing Pasta who's uh, on the ropes right now against this Ivysaur. However, the grab, seeing uh, Beast sit in shield for just a little too long. I, th I thought I just heard you say side B sore. Side B-Sore. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm calling from now on. Side B-Sore. Side B-Sore. Oh I mean, look at it. It's not It's not inaccurate. It's really not. <laughs> that that's move, pretty funny. Yeah, that, actually, I'm calling it that from now on. Oh, my God. That's funny as hell. Sore. <laughs> sore. Sore. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, oh, is that it? Indeed it is. The coup de grace administered mm. by Blazing Pasta, who has his shot at revenge against 6WX in Grand Finals. Yeah, and we go back to the player cam real quick.